anytime someone signs a contract against me, I get mad because I'm like, they think that they can beat me. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's sometimes that's my little motivation. But I enjoy fighting like that. It's uh, I really enjoy the competition, what it is, and just it's kind of like a modern day um, gladiator type feel. You know, not not many people in the world would do it, and I'm one of them. And you know, I have the luxury and blessed to get paid for it. So no, it is a it's a sport, you know. Um, we go in there, do what we gotta do, and afterwards we can be friends, so, yeah. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harris and Combat Sports Show Live. On behalf of LDBCSports.com, I got Miss Christina Marks, okay? She was a contestant on The Ultimate Fighter. Christina, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, I'm good and well. You know what? I think you're the second person to ask me, but the first person to ask me was kind of mean, but you don't seem like you're mean. <laughs> So, Christina, you are fresh off of an Invicta fight, which, you know, girl, I thought you did well. You know, I thought you did extremely well. And, uh, you know, I've been, I've been following you since the Tough Series. So, so, so tell me, like, what, um, doing that particular fight in Invicta, okay, uh, the fight that you had against, um, I'm sorry, the fight that you had against Milana Dudieva. Okay, what, what 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 were your feelings like in, for the first when when the fight started? You know, like how did you think you were doing um, up until the ref stopped the fight? Yeah, um, I actually thought I was doing pretty well. Um, we knew we didn't want to really rush anything. I mean, I've been doing this for so long, and um, we thought she might want to try to do a takedown or uh, something in that sort. But honestly, in yeah, the first round, I felt like that was more mine. Even though she was throwing some wild punches, I felt like my punches were connecting more. And um, so I felt like I won the first round. I felt like I was winning the second one as well. But just being more, I'm more of a stand-up fighter, it's kind of hard to predict wild punches, you know, because she was kind of throwing some wild punches. And, and yeah, and I got clipped. And I honestly, um, when I went down, uh, I went to brace myself, and then I was going for her, um, her leg to do a takedown, and then he stopped it, and I just thought it was just stopped a little too soon. Yeah, Chris. I was completely fine. It's not like I was out of it or anything like that, you know? So. Christina, I'm going to have to concur with you. You know, I've, I've watched that fight four times, okay? And I watched it some more before I was interviewing you, and you were actually still in the fight. And, uh, you know, I just, I found that kind of baffling. You know, I'm like, well, okay, why did they stop this fight? Because, you know, she was clipped, but you were still trying to actually, you know, make a move to, to work. You were trying to work. And then he just stepped in between like you were about to get hurt. I'm like, well, you know, no, she wasn't out of it. So I felt like that you kind of got robbed of an opportunity to to actually prove yourself because I, I, I actually thought you were doing very well, especially your jab. Yeah, and, so, and I was going to say, and people don't know how effective a jab can actually be, I actually got to see um, Lena um, the next day and her left, um, her, her eye was pretty much shut from just from my jab. Like, it was black and I, like, you never really know how much a jab can really help. And the whole thing in this game plan was kind of putting my hand out there and kind of for her to kind of stay away and then come off with that jab. And it worked. And, um, but yeah, you know, I couldn't really say much. Me and my coach didn't really say much about the fight. Like, I was mostly just frustrated that it was stopped, you know, because especially two fights, I think, before me, the girl was all bloody and they should have stopped that fight way sooner. And it just depends on what ref you get, you know. Some are just way too cautious, and then some just let some go just way too long. So sometimes I feel like there's no happy medium, and I feel like I didn't even get a chance to even work, you know. Mm-hmm. And like, just, yeah, I would say, like, I was clipped. I went down, and I wanted to just keep on working, but I wasn't, like, I was completely fine. Yeah, you, you were completely fine, and not only were you fine, you know, I can tell when somebody's out of it, you know, their eyes... You know, I start rolling around a little bit and, you know, yeah. you were completely, you know, coherent of what was going on. So I was like, OK, they stopped this fight. You know, I'm like, come on. I, I really want to see what Christina can do, because, you know, I followed you on tough 
And I'm gonna tell you, you you definitely had Montana um, De-, De La Rosa. I mean, you you actually had her finish, and then it's like, okay, you went for a takedown. I'm like, yo, this this, this girl no. this girl is good. <laughs> this girl is really good. One thing. One thing I do though, Christina, and I'm gonna be honest, when I when I study fighters, I, you know, I, I don't look at like what your resume say. I look at like you know what you've done. And you fought against, you've seen a lot of different striking. You've seen a lot of different wrestlers. You've seen some of the best in the world. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at the resume. You know, you got, you fought McMahon. You fought uh, Alexis Dufresne. You know, you fought, um, you fought Colleen Snyder, who was pretty good. Like, you, you fought some great upper-level competition. And you've hung in there with them. So, you know, all I see is that you're getting better. I mean, could, I mean, could you tell me, like, what do you do, okay, when you have a setback like this and you're getting better and you have a setback? What what what's what, what's the next step? Like what 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 do I'm trying to get it out, girl. I'm too excited. What do you do next? What I do next is just, you know, continue on the forward progress. You know, I had a really good fit feedback from a lot of people. Actually, a lot of people were like, we got ref. Why did you stop it? You know, so um, no, there was no negative from it, especially because I was the one that took um, the fight in 20 days, dropped 26 pounds. No one knew that I was actually pretty sick after weigh-in. But, of course, I wasn't going to say anything like that. But, so, I mean, next time have another full fight camp, you know, I'm in contract with them, so I, I'll have another fight, and just keep on working, I only get better, honestly, I feel like there's nothing I haven't seen in my career, or um, in cage that I haven't seen already, I saw some of the best in the world, and maybe it was too soon for me, but at least you know that I fight down on my, on my, um, my mouthpiece, and I'll go for it, no one intimidates me, no name intimidates me, and I'm all, I'm always in there ready. But when they told when they when they approached me about the fight, I didn't even know who she was. I just said yes because I knew I wanted to get in there. So, do you think you'll eventually get a rematch with Milana Dudiaeva? Oh, definitely would like it that because um, I felt like I deserve it because I felt like I was winning that fight, and um, I felt that like most people would like to see that because I actually. People were asking if I, if I would ever want to do a rematch with her. And usually with, with anyone, I'm like, once the fight's over, I'm done over. But I definitely want to rematch with her. Yeah, I, hey, Christine, I, I, I get angry. Me me being a pugilism fan and me, you know, being a boxer formerly. You know, I just, I get upset because it's like, man, you know, this was your breakout time. And this, you know, you can tell, like, the work that you put in. You can see how crisp your jab was. You can see how your lateral movement was. I mean, you you look good. You know, for somebody mm-hmm. to take this fight on 20 days notice, losing 26 pounds, do you know that's over, you know, you had to lose over a pound a day? Right. Over a pound a day. I mean, do, do you sit and think like, how on God's green earth did I do that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you know, like... Um, I didn't have a fight lined up prior to that. I still go to practice every day. I still do everything I do, and I feel great. Like, I feel like even now, like, even after leaving the tough show, I went to a new fight. Um, I went to a new camp, and everyone there are all wrestlers. So it made me look at the, the eye differently. makes me see how people move as wrestlers, what they do to try to do a takedown. So now I feel like I have way more answers for anyone if they want to take me down. Um, so I just feel like I just get better and better, honestly. And uh, I'm just excited for the next fight because especially for me taking a fight in 20 days and I, I felt like I looked pretty good. It was probably a really good stand-up performance. Um, I'm excited to see what happens next. Yeah, I, I thought you stand-up. I thought you were looking good. And especially some of the leg kicks that you threw out. And I was like, Christina has like some great leg kicks. Oh, good. Hey, because I want to celebrate too. What's going on back there in the background? I need to celebrate. Game, so. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't know you said the same baseball know, game. Fine. You, are you sure? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Are, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now let me ask you about your son. Since you already brought him up, how, how long has your yeah. son been playing baseball? Um, this is his third or fourth season. And he's also um, he's played soccer too. So he plays two sports a season typically. Yeah. So, yeah. He's a little athlete himself. Yeah. <laughs> what does your son think about when mommy got to go fight? You know, does he say, you know, mom, you know, hey, can I watch? Or does, does he stay home? No, he loves, he's actually disappointed that he wasn't able to go to this fight. 
but he had too many games over the weekend, so and it was kind of short notice, so he didn't um, he didn't come. He was at the uh, one in Vegas, um, the tough one. Um, he likes going to all the fights. I started fighting when he was two weeks old, so to him it's very natural and organic to see me fighting, and he's actually my my biggest um, or my hardest critic. Like everyone's like, can't I call him Poppy? So everyone's like, can't wait to hear what Poppy has to say about this fight. So. <laughs> you call your son Poppy? That's what's up. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, if that's your biggest credit, that's who you're fighting for anyway, right? Yeah, but um, he, um, yeah, to him, he loved it, yeah, and um, after I got off the tough show, a lot of his friends watched it, and they think it's kind of cool, but, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm sitting here thinking... I'm talking to Christina. She was on the Tough Show. Like you was there with, you know, uh, uh, you, you was there with Sajara Eubanks. You know, Nico Montano, the champion. I mean, yeah. you, you was around all of that talent. Rachel Ostovich, Shayna Dobson, and I'm talking to you. Yeah. Like you, like you know, I, I don't even know, but you, you, when you were fighting, you know, I thought it was over for De La Rosa. Like you clipped her, you know, you clipped her, and girl was about out of there. She was about gone. And then I was like, yes, 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 she finna get out. Because, you know, when I was watching the show, I was like, this Christina Marks girl, this girl can fight. This girl can fight. I don't know. I don't care because when I first, I saw you on Tough. That's the first time I ever saw you. And then I went and started researching. I said, nope, don't worry about it. Her resume, that means nothing, okay? This girl can fight. Yeah. Like, uh, just like the same thing uh, Roxanne Montefiore. You know, like people look at her resume, but people don't know that. Mm-hmm. No, she's very skilled, you know? So. Right. Mm-hmm. You you skill. You definitely got some skill, and you got you got one punch knockout power. I felt like it, and, um, Eddie Alvarez said that as well that I can knock out anyone anytime, you know. And honestly, my coach obviously um, said it's in this fight too. I need to, um, I guess, just trust my my stand up more because I do question it sometimes, you know. And even when um, in the first round, when they wasn't sure if she tripped on or stumbled or anything, it was actually I hit her with my hook as she went down. I was actually surprised she went down without that. Bad. Um, in my last fight, so I'm gonna trust that more, you know. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm just getting better and better. So we'll see what happens in the next one. I will, I will have my fight. I will. It's, it's getting close, you know. <laughs> you almost knocked the soul out of her body with that punch. I mean, I think, you, I think you've been a little bit modest. I think you've been very modest. That was a hard punch. I mean, have you ever looked at that in slow motion? No. See. That, that's what you need to do. You need to look at that in slow motion and really see how hard that you hit. And then if you're saying that your jab, you know, can do that to people, you know, but it, it really was impressive because, and I, I was like, I bet this girl know how to do Muay Thai. I bet you this woman know how to do, a, I bet you used to box. And so could, could you answer, answer my question and see if I got them all right? Did you do Muay Thai and did you box? Because it's a lot of stuff that I, I hadn't researched, but I just know, you know. In Muay Thai, I actually teach for the UFC gyms out here, so that's what my bread and butter is. Is, is Muay Thai, is my stand up. It's mostly because I used to run track my whole life, so I'm really uh, quick on my feet. But I know how to get in and out. I know how to um, be explosive and slow down the pace. I think that helps me in fighting. Okay, so you used to run track. So what events did you run? Um, four by one, four by four, and then four hundred hurdles was my main event in college. Okay, okay. So you was a hurdler. Okay, great. I yeah, I, I I used to do track and field too. I did that too. Wow, I'm, I'm real. Okay, well, you know, I never get to talk to many fighters that did track and field. When I talk to Marion Ray, no, her and I can always talk about it because we talk about the track and field stance. So, if you could talk to Shannon Knapp right now, and if there's anybody in Invict, if you can talk to Shannon Knapp right now at Invicta, and if you if you, if she were to call you, who would you ask her to fight next if it was up to you? So you're gonna have I'm to fight your friend. friend. <laughs> okay. So so you so you are one of those fighters that can separate then, right? Oh, definitely. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, you have to think, like, I mean, we spar, like, well, I spar my friends. I mean, my teammates, all my friends, and we spar all the time. And when we spar, we're in there trying to, I don't really say hurt, but we do hurt each other. So uh, we can separate it. You know, it is a, it's a sport, you know. Um, we go in there, do what we got to do, and afterwards we can be friends. So, yeah. You kind of give up that aura like you just like to beat up people. And it just feels good to you. I mean, it just seemed like you, you know, and I'm not saying you like a, a evil person. Nah, nah, because uh, you, you, you sound real pleasant, but you just seem like somebody who just like to get in there and just, you know, beat them up a little bit, punish them for a little bit, you know, for even stepping in there with you. You know, is that is that is that an accurate assessment or am I just wrong? Um, well, it's funny because um, anytime someone signs a contract against me, I get mad because I'm like, they think that they can beat me. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's sometimes that's my little motivation, but um, it's not that I um, say that I enjoy fighting like that. It's um, I really enjoy the competition, what it is, and just it's kind of like a modern day um, gladiator type feel. You know, not not many people in the world would do it, and I'm one of them. And you know, I have the luxury and blessed to get paid for it. So I think that's what, really what it is. And yes, I. I am a mean fighter. Everyone always says that. Um, <laughs> I mean every punch, and I will throw a punch from anywhere, and I like to be in the pocket. And if someone, some people will see that. If you stay in the pocket with me, I will throw right there with you. So, um, And that's how I used from back in the day, you know, growing up, flat boxing and doing all that stuff with the boys. So. <laughs> Oh, so were you at the end of a couple of butt weapons out there slap boxing, or were you, or were you one handing out the butt weapons? I've always, I've always been really fast with my hand. It's crazy. So yeah, I was actually, I'll always be surprised if someone's that faster than me because usually no one's really faster than me. <laughs> oh, that didn't answer the question. See, because you still ain't tell me if you were at the end of those butt weapons or were you giving them out. I think it was fifty-fifty because I never know one time this one kid hit me so hard. I was like, don't you cry, Christina. Home. So upset. <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you used to slap box with you, you. You had that speed with the boys, and you were just going in. So your yeah. future, you was are you was already destined to be, you know, punching people and fighting, you know, with the skill set that you possess. You know, mm-hmm. you were destined. That was your destination. Ah, that's awesome. So, so okay. So if. When and if, okay, if you were to fight Deanna, how do you think you match up with her if they if they give you that fight? Who is it? Oh, you, um, Joanna? N- no, Deanna Bennett. Oh, Deanna Bennett. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I mean, I always feel like in every fight, I'm, I'm not going to be the better fighter. If you don't believe that, then why are you stepping in there? So I feel like I'll do well, I mean, especially because I know how she moves. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot about her, and um, I obviously feel like my stand-up will be better. She's a wrestler, and I'll, I, I'm at um, or Team Arena, who there's nothing but wrestlers there, so I feel like I'll be able to defend her takedowns or even have an answer on the ground now. Um, so I, I think it would actually be a pretty good fight. Um, so if that happens, it happens, and, and of course I'll be ready to go. Okay. I believe you'd be ready to go. I mean, I, 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 who 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 would not want to believe that you you would be ready to go? Wow, this is exciting. So now let me ask you one last question about her, and then I ask you to find a few questions. Why it seems like Deanna gets like uh people like they misunderstand her. Like I guess they don't understand her, and so she gets like a lot of, you know, like a lot of man she's crazy or man she's mean or man she's a b i t c h. You know, so well, how how do, how do people misconstrue Deanna? mean or anything like that I think you, like you were either love or hate her because she has a different type of personality she's very bubbly she's very outspoken and different like just kind of like a quirky personality um so uh, I guess people can just get that misconstrued um but if you really knew her she's like such a great person great at heart and um she really um um wants the best for everyone um but I don't know how people will misconstrue with that, but I can see it at the same time. She is a really good girl. Uh, she scares me a lot, too, when, when, when she's um, fighting because she drops her hands a lot. But um, I tell her to put her hands up, and she um, walks forward a lot with her chin, like, all high. So. Okay. <laughs> so she's a good girl. <laughs> so she's trying to be an Aztec warrior. You know, them guys in boxing, man, they do that. Them guys walk forward and... 
you know, they think it's funny, man, to be, you know, the blood and guts type fight. That, 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 that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you take a butt whipping, that's a butt whipping. And you, you, you prevent a knockout. You keep them hands up, you can prevent a knockout. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so now, are you back in the gym yet or have you given yourself a little bit of time to just kind of recuperate? After I give myself um, time, so I won't be back in the gym until Monday. Um, especially because that weight cut, that weight cut killed me. A little piece of my soul died cutting those little those, those, those last few pounds at the end. I swear it did. Uh, so I just need my body to kind of just have me made a little bit, and then um, I go back to practice on Monday. I bet you can't wait. I, I, I boy, I bet you've been bored out of your mind, haven't you? Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Bone on bone contact. Please. Yeah. Please. And yeah, you know right. and if somebody get out of line, could you give my elbow for the coach? Say, Coach, this is from Coach Shelton Harrison. And then throw an elbow. <laughs> yeah, just slap him upside the head with that elbow for me. <laughs> Will do. Okay. Well, you know, hey, Christina, I've 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 thoroughly really enjoyed talking to you just to get your side of the story about the Invicta fight. I mean all of that, you know, your and um mm-hmm. you know what? I really, really want to talk to you again, and I want to do it like on a live stream setting. And um, you yeah, know, the live stream is when you go on and people can we can we talk live, and then people are just you know they can see you, they can react to you, they can ask you questions, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm down for that. Well, God bless you, man. I, I'm, I you know what? I'm, I'm privileged. I appreciate it. Hey, and could you do me one more thing? Well, two more things. Yeah. Number one, could you tell me what your favorite song is? And number two, could you give me a drop? Yes. My favorite song? Oof, what is my favorite song? Hmm. And what was the other part of it, the question? Oh, and then, uh, you know, a, a, a drop, like say, hey, this is Christina Marks, or, you know, and uh, if you got a nickname, this is Christina Marks, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. Coach Shelton Harrison. Uh, my favorite song, what would it be? What is, huh? Oh, I'm listening to you. Coach Willie? <laughs> Hoochie. One of the moms said Hoochie Willie. <laughs> Who is Hoochie Willie? I don't know. Who's that? Hoochie Walla? Uh, some song from the early 2000s. <laughs> Hoochie Willie. So do I spell it like Hoochie, H-O-O-C-H-I-E Willie? Yeah, I think it's so. That's a song? Okay. Well, usually, yeah, yeah. Well, um, a lot of my um, walkout songs for the most part, besides the last one, was Eminem, so my lungs collapsed. I guess that's probably one of my favorite um, walking out songs. Okay. Eminem to my lungs collapse. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, you got me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good. Don't worry. It, it'll be a little surprise why I asked you for your favorite song. All right. Okay, cool. And the last thing, Christine, if you can give me a quick drop, I would I would appreciate it. Yeah. What, what do you want me to say again? <laughs> so, <laughs> Hey, this is Christina Marks, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. Hey, this is Christina Marks, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. Okay, good grief. Man, you got that right. You're the third person to get it right, because people call me Sheldon the Turtle, all kind of stuff. But you, I appreciate you. <laughs> all right, thank you. And good luck. And maybe next time, hey, you know, kind of put the video camera, and let's watch your son hit a couple of baseballs, and we'll put that in the interview.